so we have Ethan's Liberty is over but he told us we have to see the Paris Island Museum so we're walking over to check this out okay so here's the Paris Island Museum and gift shop stuff for Marines Why Paris Island? So you can see where we're at. Purchased in 1715 by Alexander, Alexander Paris, Paris Island. Overlook Port Royal Sound, one of the finest deep water harbors. Okay, so this is the uniform from 1883 to 1914. That is. Oh, wow. Look at these old uniforms. These old weapons. The oh. M, look, just 1868. Wow. Remington rolling back carbine. Civil War. After the Civil War, the U.S. military began to experiment with various breech-loading weapons, such as this one right here. Wow. You want to know why the Marine Corps is called leather, leathernecks? Because the old uniforms used to have leather right there. They just blew the coat. That neck is made of leather. Oh, is it? That's why it's called. That's why Marine Corps. One of their names is called leathernecks. Hmm. It's on almost every uniform except for today's, especially between 19. Oh, look at the old pictures. Oh, there's a dry dock here. That's cool. Marine Barracks, Port Royal, and Marine Barracks, Paris Island. Wow, look at those old pictures. Oh, there's, the, there's the leather neck there. So this is from <coughs> 1915 to 1925. Wow, look at that gun. Yeah, it's a machine gun. This, these, this was a major, I think. I, mean, I think this was a major. Recruit training in World War One. Just look at these pictures. They looks like they still have those same ones. Yeah. Oh, look at that! Look, look, look! That's made out of people. Yeah. That's awesome. Different uniforms are made of Marines. That's made out of people. Marines. The different look. There's people lying as the rope. Wow. That is so cool. Our school did that, but the beginning. Yeah. That was cool. It's a mameluk sword. Sorry, I didn't know it's sheet. So do they still do officers' mess jackets? No. I didn't think so. I've no, I haven't seen any. And the dress blues. They don't fit that mannequin very well, do they? <laughs> Stop for it. This, those are clearly oh, look at the, tool. the mannequin doesn't have arms. They skipped that on that part. Skipped up, skipped up. Like, and then over here, it's World War II. 1941 to 1948. Molly Marine. Negative one. They started bringing females to Marine Corps. Okay. Move fast. 1903 Springfield Rifle. Oh, is that like their um, sea bag? Is that what he called it? I don't know. But look Keep at, yeah. Dying. Keep them dying. Somebody drew. Remember that was sewn in. No, that's drawn on. Yeah, this picture. That's cool. They put that little knot. Oh yeah, it's a sea bag right here. Sea bag issued in Paris Island. This sea bag was issued July 1941. Carried through World War II. What is that? Very cool. It's a machine gun. He went to Guadal. This went. This bag went to Guadalcanal. And, uh, those are the doors you go through, the portal, silver hatches. Look, footprints. footprints. Oh, yeah. 
Are y'all all gonna stand? Y'all all stand. You too, Cameron. Just stand on the footprints. You get off the bus, stand on the footprints, you go through the silver hatches. Oh, and here's the um, the training matrix. It's literally what they do. Yeah. And here is the crucible. This is the first week. Receiving. Receiving week. Yeah. Oh, look, 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 look. Oh, it says out of order. But look, here's the phone. And here's what they say. Look. Yeah. This is recruit last name. I have arrived safely at Paris Island. Please do not send any food or bulky items to me in the mail. I will contact you in seven to nine days by letter with my new address. Thank you for your support. Bye for now. Hey, oh, I remember that call. Mad, don't you? I remember that call. Let me see. Can you see through the scope? Oh, they're called go fasters. Yeah. So, yeah, Ethan told us about pitting. Scuzz is to clean. To march with a full load of equipment. Scribe, recruit detailed. Record keeper to the DI. Oh, yeah. Because it's crazy. You get letters with these words, and you're like, I have no idea what he's trying to say. I know. You knew, well, you knew some of it. I knew it was the gas chamber. Water point. Ooh, uh-uh. Becoming a marine. <clears throat> you make it through the crucible. You're recruiting it more. You get your uh, eagle globe and anchor. And you're a marine. Look at that. Get that trust exercise. Fifty-four hours. We can't really comprehend how hard that was. Hey, yeah, this is going all the way back to the revolution. <laughs> you found the cannon. Check out that bayonet. Look at that. Yeah, that gun up Circa 1769. Battle of Point Port Royal. Cannonballs. Wow. Uh, chill. It is. They probably had a drill. Look at the dates on these things. 1770s. 1770s. Um, do you know when the Marine Corps was founded? Not you, camera, but them. Um, it was the year before, wasn't it? Okay. America was 1776 and Marine Corps was 1774. 10 November 1775. I was close. You were close enough. Pretty good. So, and you have to say it like that. 10 November 1775. Say November 10th, 1775. You're going to make some Marines mad. <laughs> okay. So what is it? 10 November 1775. That's when the Marine Corps was founded. So why were they founded? They were founded as a branch. I don't why. Oh, well, you're going to have to, uh, you I got to catch up on my You got to catch up on your studying for all that. The British occupation of Beaufort. That's a musket ball. Huh? That's a musket ball right there. Oh, those little bitty. They go in that musket and they shoot them out. Oh, yeah. Sponge bucket. Yeah. Could you imagine... Think about our bullets of today. Yeah. They're much smaller than that. Have one of them rip three. Oh, yeah. Plus, you'd be like trying to hold it up. You know they're going to weigh I don't know what they weigh, but you know they're pretty heavy. And they weren't oh, all... 9.5 pounds. They weren't all that accurate either. They apparently got lighter and lighter. 9.5, 9.4 pounds. But it's, it's not distributed in one solid area. It's yeah. Yeah, like, you, do, you hold that up for a long time. You're doing more. this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they made them longer to try and make them more accurate. Correct. Yeah. 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 
Yeah. There's, this is a really cool museum. They put this. Look how long this big daddy is. And that's how you got the cannons around on those things. Actually, this is an artillery cannon. Oh, yeah. These are bullets went in every single little hole. Oh, wow. There's a string. These, a .25 caliber cartridge went flying oh, at you. This is hidden. And they closed that and it's covered. And so the Oh, so it just looks shoot. like a cart. Yeah. Oh, you know, wow. You put, like, supplies on top. It's hidden. And just yank it. And just put that together. Very cool. Oh, this looks like a handheld cannon. This looks like the one man would <laughs> So what's really cool here is there's a lot of local history as well because there's been Navy ports and uh, Marine ports here going way, way, way back. Yeah, these are these dioramas are really cool. This is the Battle of Honey Hill. I want that honey. 30 November. This is from the Civil War. Yeah, this is Civil War. So that's the Confederates over there. This guy's there. missing his leg. Me? Blown up. Oh Blown gosh. Out. Confederates here. Dead soldiers. Oh, that poor guy's must be In the Union. Yeah, that's a man. How'd you feel that going? Oof, wow. Right. So that is the Tenage. replica of replica. Because it can't fit this. in this. And uh, if you go down just a tad bit, this is the bullet. That's that the bullet in that went in. Now, if you Whoa. can't, if you can't fathom this, that Look goes this. into. A okay, yeah. Here's the diorama. Size. See how big these things are compared to the land around it. Look, that's a railroad that holds a, a big old train. Yeah. That's the guns. That's the bullet. That's the. That's bullet. nineteen from nineteen o two. That's you the bullet. You shoot that at ships. No, that's not that. Do you shoot that at a ship? And it'll bu bust a hole. In it. It'll ruin some. That's bad. the bullet. Death. So this is just local history here. This is a Mississippian era canoe, okay. circa thirteen fifty, and here it is. Yeah, this is a replica. No, this is the real piece. It's a real This is not a replica. Piece, pieces of the real piece. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty you awesome. It's in Look, so that is marine aircraft, and then this is what it actually looks like inside. F4S injection seat and canopy for an F4. It's the largest room area in the upper left. The main supply That's cool. a one way trail. Through the Glass, of the and, and pottery and rocks. Running from the lower left to the upper right hand corner. <laughs> oh, flamethrowers. <coughs> wow. Yeah. Weight 50 oh, pounds. Strike so you're dead. Rate of fire 10 seconds. Ugh. Shoots for 10 seconds. Look at those uniforms. God. It's different than the green silkies they wear huh, now, huh? Yeah. It's the Iwo Jima monument. Look at this bad puppy. It's both favorite. <laughs> you know what I think? They made 14,000 loaves of bread every eight hours and was honored with awards from the American Institute of Baking. That's a lot of cakes. Yeah. But they taste good. Got all the different uniforms through the years. You know what I have to say? We're getting into the more, okay, getting into the modern. Yeah. Oh, look, an MRE. Yeah, it was a line about the Skittles. Look, there's a breakdown of an MRE. Shortbread cookies, Mexican rice, chicken, breast strips with chunky salsa. Skittles. You get Skittles. You get two mints. Iced tea Skittles. drink mix. Mmm. Yum. Good. Tabasco, we, I've, gum. I've had several of those and they're really I want an MRA. Cheese spread and crackers. So you add water in that um, carbon pack and it heats up. That's your heater. That's what yeah. you eat your food up. You just prop it up a bit. I want an MRA. Let me get an MRA. So these are, what, these are desert, desert camis and he called mm -hmm. these woodlands, I think. Land boy. They're usually called just camis. Mm -hmm. 
Well, they're both camis. Yeah, that's that's a woodland and that's a desert cami. That's what it says. Yeah, bayonet training. Rip. Woo! Literally. Get the pun. Yeah, and razor wire. Oof. Yeah, that's the camis we grew up with. Those are those. <laughs> Woodlands before the digital. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I've seen them all over. Um, yeah. So this whole room here is all dedicated to the instructors. When I think of camouflage, that's what I'm thinking. And let's see, training Marines who make Marines. So the drill instructors have to go through their own four week training before they become, become drill instructors. I think they like jump. Yeah, they, they, be, they go through drill instructing once more of their life. That, that looks good, type screen. Can you see he's got a wand from Harry Potter? I'm going to record that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Harry Potter wand. It does look like a wand. Harry Potter wand. That's his pointer. I love these old pictures. Go your room. Look, graduation from 1950. It's a company inspection during World War One. Graduation 1968. This one was from 1918. Wow. Look at this, very new recruits from 1960s. Look, but they're big yeah, old she... steel. Oh yeah, very different than the new recruits today. We just saw a bunch of fresh recruits. Yeah, they're still in their civilian clothes. Yeah, that's Getting off the bus. That's female recruits in 1981. Uh, recruits in the 70s. Mm -hmm. Emptying out their pockets. Oh, look, see, look at the difference. See, they came dressed in suits. Wow, during World War II. Yeah, wow. well, back then, everybody, that's just what you wore. And I Yeah, and so going from here to the 1970s how it got casual and now they wear jeans and polos like ethan yeah that's the 50s these photos are fascinating some people spend an entire lifetime wondering if they made a difference the marines don't have that problem that's pretty awesome okay you gotta start on the left side over here we're starting in the 1900s World War One. And, and look, see, the recruits have to come in here and learn things in here. So this is not just a museum, this is a learning experience for them. Oh, wow. Look at that Eagle Globe and Anchor. It's from 1891. I think it's beautiful. I think it's beautiful. Wow. This is that's an interesting gun. Look at where the magazine is. Mm -hmm. Top. Did you ever see that? Shotgun. The little brass knuckles on it. Mm -hmm. So you like you can actually use it as melee. Punch. Yeah. Punch somebody. <coughs> no, just yeah, like, I, a knife is melee. Like, like, a blunt melee. Hotchkiss machine gun. Look at oh, that. Yeah. Thing. Okay, between the wars, so this was 1961 and 1941. So the Marines were in Haiti, the Dominican Republic, and Nicaragua. So that's where these things came in. And we've also got items from World War One over here too. I think all these items are from World War One. Yeah, that that thing is crazy. Because it's a knife and like knuckles. You, you, you'd be dangerous with that. In 1918-82 Browning automatic rifle. Wow, look at that little Smith and Wesson pistol. 1901. Major battles of the Pacific. So this was um, World War II. Here? Yeah. Pacific War. Oh, yeah, because there's Guadalcanal. Remember, we learned about that at the World War II Museum. There's Guadalcanal. 
Mom, this is... Oh, wow. Look, all. See where the, the pops are? Yeah. Those were all battles fought major by the Marines. Major battles campaign. This is wow. the major battles of the Pacific War. Wow, that's impressive right there, seeing that. Look at that Marine emblem flag. That's from 1942. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay, the Second World War. It's the uniforms. That bayonet there. Wow. Yeah. Marine gunfire pierced the barrel of this Japanese 8mm pistol on Iwo Jima. You see the hole in the barrel? And the handles ripped up? That's pretty cool. I like this music. As, yeah. I play Fallout. Music so of the era. I play Fallout. And, then, and then look at this gun. That one meant the trench is up real. This shattered. I feel like it was shattered because they put the wrong ammunition in. I don't know, but that it, gun was destroyed. Well, it could have been, the barrel could have been obstructed, and when they fired around, yeah. It's gotten a gun barrel, and Here's the Korean it, War, the, brown blue the major battles. Up. All because of uh, lint. Always check your barrel, make sure it's cleaned out before, if, when it's not loaded. Of course. And, uh, before, look, look here, grenade, grenade, grenade. That's a lovely grenade. You know, you can take... It's, it's you can tell the boys like the weaponry. It's false history. If you remove the pin, Whoa. it will not blow up unless you Look at that. that. Look at the size of that guy. Um, that guy is missing his body. It's kind of flat. That's just showing the sleeping bag. You can see the head. 1949 sleeping bag. You can see the head. Okay, well. Look at the old field phone. Oh, look. Look at the MRE back here. Ham and eggs chopped. That's good. It's a box. Now, this is a lot of cool stuff. And then, see, rations came in these cans, oh, and these packets. I used to deliver water to a Fort Polk base, and uh, they'd give me, give them to me by the cases, and I'd take them back to the house and eat them. I'd try to, just about every kind yeah, you get try, they're good. Oh yeah. There's some that are better than others. You get the mortar cannons. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be right here. It's newer, so that's why like it'd be definitely. I don't think that counts though. Yeah. It doesn't have a little tanker helmet. Yeah, tanker helmet. Really cool it's really cool on it. Now this is all from Vietnam, right here. Vietnam booby trap, right here. Soda can. Coca-Cola. <laughs> well, that's probably... I think we should go back downstairs. Yeah. It almost looks like chesty. Sam. Strain rockets. They have like chicken pot pie. Oh, we're getting into um, the Iraq Wars. That's where the desert camis came in. How'd you like to wear that over your face? This uh, desert stone? Yep. Yeah. That was what? Oh, no, this is Iraqi freedom. Is it? Yeah, see? Operation Iraqi freedom. This museum is a lot bigger than I realized. September 11, 2001. It really is. This is way more impressive than I expected it to be. Ethan said it's once right in a lifetime. Out. Yeah, I'm glad we came over here. Yeah, it was a little. Oh, I just realized this is a this sheet. This is a frame. Oh, that's a piece. Wow. That's a piece of the World Trade Center. Wow. Wow. I wasn't born. Yeah, that was before y'all were born. But I've seen it in. In school, and I think every, if something bad, even worse happens than that, they still need to learn about that. Global war on terrorism. No. 
It's like the first act of terror. Here's the details of the crucible. Okay, and in here they do have the M MREs, Mill Ready Eats. They're eleven ninety nine. You want to try one? Yes. Yeah, I want one. Just to I'll have this I want for, for dinner. dinner. <laughs> I, want, I, want I will very much have this for dinner. Y'all are funny. Yeah, that is that a cool is. shirt. No, this is. Who? Jesse Pulley. Who's that? He's actually uh one of he's the most famous marine, and that's Sarah. Oh. Um, I like that shirt. Get down. Get down. Mm. Mom, get down. Get down. Come on. Get down on the ground. No. Oh, look, they have little temporary tattoos. Oh, oh I just really got the shirt on. Dad, this is a light. They have Eagle Globe and Anchor temporary tattoos. <gasps> oh, look, they have Battalion 3 temporary tattoos. My son's, son's one of the few in the proud. Oh, yeah. We'll get look, that. Look, this is a lighter. Oh, yeah. We're, lighter. We'll get you that shirt. Drop on. Sand and Paris Island. It's full of metal scrap. It's just the one that knows. We're going to the gym. You gotta look for the right one, though. Uh, um, I have a question. Okay. Do you know They don't use that. They walk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's all they do. They don't have food time. They still have right. food time. Green, so.